I'm Bruce Campbell, a neurologist from the Royal Melbourne Hospital in Australia. I'm going to be talking about the Extend IA TNK trial. This is an investigator initiated randomised trial of tenecteplase versus alteplase in patients who are going for endovascular thrombectomy. We recruited 202 patients over a period of two and a half years and the results will be presented at the ISC. The idea of the trial is that there's still uh, guidelines recommending bridging thrombolysis, so uh, thrombolysis before thrombectomy uh, for patients with a large vessel occlusion. And there's still an opportunity uh, between when you can give thrombolysis and when you can get the artery open within the vascular procedure to uh, intervene with more effective thrombolysis to increase the rate of pre-endovascular reperfusion. So that was really what the trial was about, using tenecteplase as a potentially more effective thrombolytic to get the artery open more often before the thrombectomy procedure. So the patients were randomised uh, to tenecteplase 0.25 milligrams per kilogram. Some of you be aware that that's a dose that's been used before. Um, in the Norwegian trial, Nortes, they used 0.4 milligrams per kilogram, which is a higher dose, which is something we'll need to test in future. But this 0.25 milligrams per kilogram opened the artery in 22% of the uh, patients compared to 10% with alteplase. So that was statistically significant, uh, both for the non-inferiority endpoint, which was the primary analysis, and also for superiority. In addition to that, we managed to show uh, a benefit on the modified Rankine scale at 90 days in ordinal analysis, and there was a trend in favour of increased independent functional outcome as well. So with that result in mind, clearly tenecteplase is a very convenient way of giving thrombolysis. It's a bolus delivery rather than an hour infusion, and that has some advantages if you're shipping patients between hospitals or even within the hospital to get their thrombectomy procedure. In many systems, it's also a cheaper option than alteplase, uh, depending on vial sizes and other factors. So there are some practical advantages to tenecteplase. It does seem to be more effective in getting the artery open, and that data is consistent with previous trials, such as uh, the Parsons et al. trial published in the New England Journal in 2012 that showed increased reperfusion at 24 hours. So we think tenecteplase has a lot of promise. There are ongoing trials, uh, TASTE in Australia, a TEST2 in Scotland that are looking at uh, the non-thrombectomy population and whether tenecteplase can improve outcomes in that group. And I think this issue of dose is something that's worth looking at and we're proceeding with a trial comparing 0.4 milligrams per kilogram versus 0.25 milligrams per kilogram in the endovascular group.